Welcome to geekoutdoors.com. So on today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your videos look more cinematic. Well, maybe not quite to those levels, but I am gonna be showing you how you could easily create this letterbox or widescreen effect along with animation using DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and head over to the computer and create a more movie-like experience. All right, so here we're in DaVinci Resolve and I already have some clips down here in my project timeline. And even though these clips look good, I wouldn't say they are cinematic, but thankfully the Vinci Resolve does provide you with a number of ways to apply a letterbox or widescreen effect. And so the methods I'm gonna be showing you here are the easiest way to do this, even if you are a beginner. So let's go ahead and start off with the simplest method and that's gonna apply this effect to all clips in your project timeline. And it's not just limited to a widescreen or letterbox effect, it could actually apply to vertical ones as well. So if you actually go up here to your timeline and go down to output blanking, you see all these numbers here. And what these are are actually aspect ratios. So if you're familiar with this, you're already gonna find one that works best for your content. But let me show you a few. So the first two are actually vertical. So if you choose 1.33, you'll notice that it is now vertical. And then if you go to the next one, 1 1.66, it's also vertical. And then if you go here to the next one, 1 1.777, at least with this resolution, it actually fills the whole screen. The same goes for all this other content. So it's not until you get to the next ones where you're on 1.85, where you start seeing these letterbox or black bars on the top and the bottom. And then as I'm increasing this, you'll be more familiar with these because these are definitely ones that you probably see in cinemas and movies. And it definitely gives it a more cinematic look. And at least for me, the aspect ratio that looks the best in my eyes is actually this one right here, 2.35. That looks really cinematic to me. And it really makes the footage I already had look even better. And as you can see, it does change the overall context and feeling of these video clips. But in some cases, it might not always look right. So be careful which aspect ratio you use because in this case, it cropped off some of my head. But as you could easily see here, this output blanking is quite literally the most basic, but also simplest way for you to apply this whole letterbox and widescreen effect to all clips in your project. And if for some reason you no longer wanted these letterbox or different aspect ratios, then it's really easy for you to reset everything. So all you have to do is go back up here to timeline and then under output blanking, there is an option called reset and now you are back to normal. Okay, so now let's take a look at the second way in which you could do this and it's not gonna be in our edit tab, but it's gonna be done in our color tab. So here we're gonna be doing pretty much the same thing as we did with output blanking. However, the color tab gives you additional features that you won't get in the edit tab. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one and that is basically applying the letterbox effects to all clips in our project timeline. So we go here to the bottom and go to sizing. And then instead of input sizing, you're gonna choose output sizing and now you can adjust these blanking options. And this is very similar to the output blanking that we just did, except that you are no longer limited by the aspect ratios that DaVinci Resolve provides. In this case, you can adjust the values for top, right, bottom, and left. And in this case, my clip is a 1080p. So the right dimensions is 1920, and then the bottom is 1080. And if you did want to actually get exact numbers, you could also calculate it based upon the aspect ratios, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to show you the easy way. So I'm going to adjust this top value just by moving this and bottom, I'm going to decrease it. And there is our letterbox or widescreen effect. And that's applied to all our video clips in our project timeline. And if you did calculate the values and you want exact, you could always put these values in here and it apply to all the clips in your project. And you can see right there. And if for some reason, you know, you wanted to reset everything, then it's really easy to do. All you have to do is go here and then reset. And now you are back to normal. And there's also some additional features that we could actually apply here in the color tab, but I'll cover that on the second half of this video. Now let's go ahead and head back into our edit page. 
And now I'm going to actually show you how to do the letterbox effect per clip instead of for all clips in your project timeline, because there's definitely going to be times where maybe you don't want to apply the same letterbox or widescreen effect to every video clip. And so the way we're going to do that is we're actually going to go into our inspector. So if you don't see your inspector, it'll look something like this. And so all you have to do is turn on your inspector. So then you can see all these options here and where we want to go is cropping. So this is going to be very similar to what we just did in the color tab where you are able to adjust the left, right, top, bottom, but there's also softness as well. And in this case, you could do the same calculations if you know the actual aspect ratios, but just like the previous example, I'm going to do a very simple one. I'm going to crop the top and then I'm going to crop the bottom. And as you can see, we have our letterbox widescreen effect. But the great thing is it only applies to this clip. So the other clips, they don't have the same letterbox effect. And if you wanted to adjust the same exact effects that you had on this clip, well, you don't have to manually redo it. All you have to do is copy this. Just right click on your mouse, copy, and then go to the clip that you want to apply the same effect on and then right click and then paste attributes and make sure that you choose video attributes and then apply. And there you go. Now you have it on this clip as well. And if you wanted to undo this, you could go here and undo everything. And if you wanted to apply this to multiple clips, you could select multiple clips and then right click, paste attributes, apply. And now you see that it has the same exact attributes as what you have here. And so that is another way that you could actually do the letterbox and widescreen effect per clip or on multiple clips at the same time. All right, so now that we're seeing some of the top ways to do this letterbox effect, let's go ahead and look at what I think is the best way to do this. And it's gonna give you the most flexibility overall. And that is by using adjustment clips. So if you go here to your toolbox and then go down here to effects, you'll see adjustment clip. And we'll go ahead and drag this here. And what's great about adjustment clip is you're able to do the same thing that you did earlier with cropping. But the thing is, since it is in its own clip, with this is adjustment clip, you can apply it across a single clip, multiple clips, your entire project timeline. It gives you a lot of flexibility. And so let me show you here on this adjustment clip, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to crop the top and we're going to crop the bottom. And just like before, it only currently affects this clip because the adjustment clip is only over that clip in our project timeline, as you can see. But here's what's great about adjustment clip. You could easily extend this if you wanted to. So now it's on these two clips and not on this one. We could also extend it further. And now it covers all of our clips. And the great thing about having an adjustment clip is it's easy for you to actually reuse this move it around and at the same time you are not affecting your individual clips so this gives you a lot more flexibility and control and if you were to add more video tracks you could easily copy and paste this adjustment clip and apply the same effect there and also if you wanted to do more advanced features like reuse this for future projects you could even add it to your master or power bin. There's power bins you could use here. This is actually more advanced, but it basically allows you to reuse things like adjustments clips. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so now that we've learned how to do the letterbox effect, let's go ahead and look at some other ways in which we can make this a lot more interesting by adding animation as you can see here we've animated into a letterbox or widescreen effect and then we went ahead and reversed that and going back to our normal aspect ratio so let's go ahead and see how we can add some animations to the letterbox effect and so the way in which we're going to do this is by using keyframes and so once we have our adjustment clip what you want to first do is determine where you actually want your animation so at the beginning, we're going to have our normal aspect ratio. So I want to be sure that I'm at the beginning of this adjustment clip. So go ahead and move my playhead here. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe. So make sure that you're under your inspector, under cropping, and go ahead and add a keyframe. So now we have our keyframe. And the thing is, if you want to see where your keyframes are at, go down here to this diamond symbol, which will show you where your keyframes are. 
And you can also zoom in here as well to give you a better look. And there is our keyframes. And so right now I have a keyframe at the beginning. Nothing's happening. This is the original dimensions, as you can see here. There's no cropping yet. But say I wanted to add it right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe here. Then I'm going to go ahead and make my adjustments. So I want to crop the top and I want to crop the bottom. And let's see how that looks. We're going to go ahead and go back to the beginning of this. Press play. And now we have our letterbox animation. And then say, for example, you wanted it to reverse and go back to your original aspect ratio. I would go ahead and add a keyframe where you want it to start, like right there. And then I'm going to add another keyframe where you want it to end. So here, and then on these dimensions, I'll go ahead and reset this to what it was before. You could either drag this back like here, or you could simply double click on this and it goes back to zero. So let's go ahead and see how this looks like. We'll go back here, we'll play it. There's our letterbox animation and then reverse animation to our original aspect ratio. And you could definitely play around with this, you know, the length of these keyframes in between them, or you could even adjust other things like the overall curves. So you could adjust how smooth you want it to be. So definitely play around with this and see what works best for you. But as you can see, by just applying these animations, uh, it makes a really cool letterbox effect. And that gives it even more of a cinematic look. And finally, let's go ahead and take a look at how we could do this letterbox with animation effect using the color page. And so the first thing you want to do is to make sure you're in the right place. So here we should be under sizing and then output sizing. And now I'd also recommend that you go ahead and toggle the timeline view on. So now you could easily see where you're at and you also can adjust things. And now we're going to go to keyframes, which is where we're going to be doing our animations. And in this case, I recommend that you also use the split primary and secondary views. It just gives you a lot better views of your keyframes. And here you could also zoom in and zoom out. So once we have all of this, we can now go ahead and create our keyframe animation. And so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to the clip where you want the animation to be. And we're going to go ahead and go to the beginning of the clip. And once you're there, we'll go ahead and add our keyframe. So you go ahead and right click on your mouse, add a dynamic keyframe. So in this case, nothing's happened yet. It's in your original resolution and aspect ratio. But now you want to decide where you want this to animate. So I'm going to move over just a little bit. And let's say I wanted to animate right here. I'm going to go ahead and add another keyframe, right click, add dynamic keyframe. And now we can go ahead and make our adjustments here under blanking. I'm going to crop the top and the bottom. And let's see how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and play this. And there is our animation. And it'll also apply to the rest of your clips as well. And then just like we did before, you could add a, another keyframe. And we're going to add it here. Add a dynamic keyframe. And then I'm going to add a, another keyframe right after that. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our original aspect ratio. So let's see how this looks. So we'll go back here. There's our animation. And then once we get over here to this next clip, we have our letterbox. And then it goes back to the original aspect ratio. And with that, you've now learned how to do the letterbox or widescreen effect, along with adding other things like animation, just to make things a little bit more interesting, film-like and cinematic. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.